Hello, this is just a quick video to show you how I've designed Mendel in such a way that all of its axes can move and be constrained with just these four bearings. For each axis we've got two ground bars, a pair here for the Y, a pair here for the X, and a pair here for the Z. And I've got this fancy diagram to try and explain what I mean. So, like I say, there's a pair of bar pair, uh, bars for each axis, and this is an end section view of one of the axes. Bar 1 and bar 2, and this is a plan view of those bars. Each axis can move at 6 degrees of freedom along X, Y and Z, and about X, Y and Z. So let's take the Z axis uh, as a kind of example. Um, we've got the bearings which wrap around this bar and around this bar here. Most of the constraints are wrapped around bar number one, which is uh, which has got three bearings around it. If I use this as a demonstration, this is one of the bearing sets, and it's arranged in such a way that three bearings sit at 120 degrees around the bar, which allows the movement up and down the bar, but critically prevents movement along the X and along the Y. <coughs> However, as you can see, it will be able to rotate about the Y and about the X, but we solve that simply by using two identical sets of bearings on that bar to prevent that from happening. So it can't rotate there and it can't rotate here in X and Y. So what we've done so far with bar 1, we've constrained it along Y, constrained it along X, constrained it about X and about Y. We're allowing it to move up and down Z, but what we haven't done yet is constrain it about Z, and that's all the second bar does. So, we imagine that without these bearings, and this rule that represents the axis, the axis can rotate about this bar, then all these two bearings do prevent the bar from rotating. And we can see those two bearings over here on the Z axis, there and there. Um, it's just a couple of notes to go with this bearing philosophy. Um, there are obviously lots of different ways that you can constrain an axis. Uh, I've chosen this design specifically because it's versatile for low precision parts. Uh, as you can see, most of the constraints are loaded onto just one bar. That's really, really important because if you can't get hold of a very straight bar or your axes are not parallel, then um, there's a lot less risk of it jamming. For example, if the bars aren't parallel and the bar moves out here, then the, these two bearings allow the bar to float within a certain range, which prevents the axis from jamming. The second note is that while we haven't quite achieved uh, accuracy in RP parts yet to 100th of a mil, which is what you, you know, really want to be looking at for the tolerances and moving things, um, what I've done is included a, an adjuster bolt so that we can very precisely get the constraint radius between the bearings. Uh, and you'll find an adjuster bolt on each bearing set around the design. So that's it. Uh, that's very briefly how the bearing, bearing systems work in Mendel. We haven't had a single jam using this philosophy and uh, hopefully you won't either. <laughs>